this was a classic case of herd mentality. I didn't know what was happening and then all of a sudden I was squirting Johnny's sperm into your vagina. Today we're going to have a look at a new TV show called Double Parked. Two ladies, two babies. Double Parked follows the couple Nat and Steph. They've been in a relationship for about seven years and they're wanting to start a family together. They have been having a lot of trouble with IVF though. I think they're on their fourth failed attempt and things go a little crazy from here. Now this is a comedy show, so keep that in mind. But the day they get told that, you know, their, their latest IVF treatment didn't work. is definitely my rotten eggs. Uh, they go on a bit of a bender. Uh, they're, they're having a, a birthday party for one of their housemates um, and they get they, they get a bit off the rocks. <laughs> and they come up with the brilliant idea of doing a home insemination with Nat. Use Nat as the microwave. Yeah, like the chef. So typically Steph has been the one trying on IVF and so they're like, what if Nat gives it a go? <laughs> so while they're off their heads at this party, they do a botched home job. This is completely insane. And that just made me nervous. I'm not gonna lie. I was like, oh my God, this could go wrong in so many ways, but we're just gonna look past it. It's a comedy. <laughs> then the show skips six weeks ahead and- <laughs> I missed my period. Oh, oh. <laughs> we go on this like journey of finding out that the fourth IVF treatment that Steph had was actually successful. How's the baby feeling? What baby? Their their doctor is just very disorganized and, and doesn't know how to read her charts apparently. Could it possibly be on the computer? No way it's gonna be on the computer, doll. It is literally there for show because computers and I do not mix. <laughs> <laughs> and somehow the home insemination Nat did was successful as well. And so they these two spiraled. I'm pregnant. Me too. They're going through the whole are they gonna keep both? How are they gonna fit everything in this house because they're renting, so they're thinking they need to get a new house. And of course, we've got an insane housing market going on at the minute. We're not seriously buying this house. Why else do you think we're here? Uh, to look in strangers' bedside tables. And then there's marriage brought up. They're not married. Nat's thinking about proposing. I actually think the only reason people ever do say yes when they're proposed to in restaurants is because they know if they play along they might get a free dessert. It's just, it is an absolute mess, but this show is so fun to watch. Oh, we're doing two for one on all Bluetooth speakers at the moment. By sheer coincidence. <laughs> we'll just take the, the one. You get the second one for free. I said we only want one. The comedy is good. The comedy is good. So while it's absolutely bizarre. I'm just gonna say, okay, don't need to keep both babies. I... Really should have kept this conversation for another room. I enjoyed it. I have enjoyed watching the first three episodes so far. It has thrown me a little bit. Uh, Steph, the, the actress that plays Steph, I've, I've watched her play a queer character in the New Zealand soap opera Shortland Street, and she was like a psycho, like a psycho killer. <laughs> so she kind of puts me on edge, but she's. Her character in this show is very much like me, very type A. I'm a lawyer, like I can use Excel. You know, very organized, disciplined, strict. Everything needs to be planned. Nat is like the complete opposite. I'm sure it's chill. Nat, talk to Steph about it. It's very fun. These two have a lot of chemistry. They're also both gorgeous, which is great. And I'm just really excited to see where else this show goes. So like I said, it is a new New Zealand TV show, but you can watch this for free, which is great. If you check out the website for the New Zealand channel three, you can watch it there for free. You will need to be on a New Zealand IP address. So if you need a VPN, uh, there is a VPN linked in the description that I use and has been working for me to get access to this show. I think new episodes are dropping every third Thursday, but the first three are up currently. So if you haven't yet, I do recommend checking out Double Parked. But if you're interested in this new couple, Billy and Ivy from Prime Videos, The Lake, check this video out here. Otherwise, I'll see you all in my next one. Okay, bye.